The Descendants is a 2011 Academy Award winning screenplay which follows George Clooney as Matt King, a Honolulu based attorney and the sole trustee of a family trust of 25,000 pristine acres on Hawaii. Of course not, Descenders is an early access downhill mountain biking game from developers Rage Squid and out now on Steam. So grab a can of Monster, polish your helmet and let's see what it's all about. Straight off. I cannot remember actually playing a pedal game. I've definitely ridden bikes in games, sometimes off cliffs. And even back in the day, I remember that rubbish mountain bike section of ESPN Extreme Games on the PS1. But, uh, I don't know, a pedal them up? I'm drawing a blank. So why is this? Why is there a lack of these games? I thought maybe it's because we have motorbikes, you know, which have their own locomotion and can therefore also go uphill. But then there's more skiing and snowboarding games than snowmobile games. There was also a spell in the PS1, PS2 era of BMX games, but that seemed more of a cash-in on the Tony Hawk craze. You know, where even Kelly Slater got a surf game and Sean Murray got a wakeboarding game. But BMXing is still not downhill mountain biking. Here, we actually have one. Please accept that with what I say in the remainder of this video, this game is in early access and developers Rage Squid say give it six to nine months to be considered complete. There's quite a few coming soon spaces in the menus, so we'll also hold out judgment on that until they're filled in. Could be new game modes, but then again, could be a store. Who knows for now. How the game basically works is there is four locations, each one of them has a number of routes to get from the start to the finish. Once you complete a level you get to choose which one you'd like to do next along the tree and you get an indication of whether it's steep, whether it's curvy or, or whether it's got a lot of stunts. Once you complete the location three times it means you can start from the next location next time but until you've done that you have to start from level 1-1 one, one every single time. Before we get on to any gripes, here's some of the things that I do actually like. Graphically, the game is, is fine. It's simple, but I was actually playing it in 4K without realizing and there was no frame drops or anything. The backgrounds are nice, the bike looks pretty good. No complaints at all here. It's the same with the soundtrack as well. I was chatting with Matt about this and I like the ambient drum and bass as it's very much fitting the style of game. That it's there in the background, but it's not stopping you from concentrating. I do kind of agree with him though that it's a shame it hasn't got the early 2000s new metal and pop punk like those old Tony Hawk games used to have, but whatever. The tricks themselves are limited to increasing number of 360 spins and flips. Also skids are considered a stunt, which is a bit weird. This is downhill biking, so it's actually quite true to reality. It is kind of weird though that in a game, you're not doing stuff as rad as what people are doing in real life. It's very strange for an early access game to be without its faults, and unfortunately Descenders doesn't fall into that unique category. I'm definitely the intended market for this game. Here I am on my bike, but right now it's not quite clicking. Being a mountain bike game should be the unique selling point of it, but it has a couple of its own. One of them being that the maps are semi-procedurally generated and the second is that they say actions have consequences and in this form that is lives. This is the part that I found probably needs the most attention in this early access phase. Lives. This seems like an outdated concept in modern games. You have lives and if you crash you lose a life. If you crash back Sadly, you lose two. Here lies the problem. You complete a challenge on a course, you get a life back. But you have to carry these lives through your game. The challenges to get a life back are often very hard and you'll lose one or two or three trying to do it. The maps get progressively harder and through each area there is what the game calls a boss jump. If you fall on that, due to its height, you usually lose two lives straight off. So you have to carry a few spare lives on purpose to this last track, meaning that a massive amount of trepidation is needed on the easier tracks. The procedural nature of these tracks also means you can't learn a line or be confident in what's coming up. So this means playing the game against how the designers probably intended, by straight up avoiding jumps and purposely not trying to achieve challenges. I want to double corkscrew, backflip and bomb it as fast as I can, but if the penalty for trying and failing is losing all my progress, then excuse me for taking it slow. It also means that when trying to progress to the boss stage, I'm sure as shit gonna take the mellowest route. I'm sure that with a lot of time and practice you could get your speed and flow up, but at the moment for me the juice just ain't worth the squeeze. 
procedural also means get ready to see the same two rocks and the same little wooden bridge over and over again. With all that which may be considered negativity, I must also say that I definitely kept playing it. I would muck up, use up all my lives, be fed up but still go, you know, alright, one more go. The criticisms I've got are, I hope, constructive, as there's definitely something here. It's not a throwaway bollocks game that you see come up on Steam. It is fun. It's good. I will definitely watch the development of it and I will pick it up again once some more content and adjustments are hopefully made. I'd also like to see some sort of VR support because it does have a first person view which would be fucking mega. Some other things that I'd quite like as well is if there was some non procedurally generated tracks which are almost like the greatest hits as in really good jumps, good runs which you can perfect, get good scores on that you can compare or do your fastest time which you can put on a leaderboard. These things don't seem like a huge amount of work to put in but then again it is a small team doing the game and they've done very well to get it to the point it is at, at the moment. I kind of just sort of end the video here but I'll probably just put some footage of me smashing into some rocks or, or caning it down a hill. Either way, thank you for watching, like and subscribe. I hate saying that so please make it worthwhile. Cheers!